if you understand the formula that countries go along as they're going down, or, or, or nations or empires go down, uh, you simply follow the same formula and promote it, and you'll also have the big collapse at the bottom, uh, at the top, you know, and the bottom. Yeah. That's the problem, though, isn't it? People don't think that there actually is a formula that. Uh, Professor Carl Quigley gave some of his top lectures on this very formula, and he should know. I mean, he was teaching all the basically the whole uh, the, the the Foreign Office for the whole of the U.S. Uh, he was the man who went and told them of all different cultures, history, philosophies, and how they rise and how they fall. And he d- always did it through formulas. And he went through that whole formula of how nations and empires collapse. Watch out for this, 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 and this. Again, the rise of, of New Age type or paganistic religions will be promoted. Well, everything you'll notice today is promoted from the top again down, not from the bottom up. It's from the top down. So people are deliberately bringing down all cultures to recreate everything from, from new once this collapses completely. Yeah. Eventually, eventually you won't be able to make judgment upon anything. And I've said before, pedophilia itself will eventually disappear from the books because it will be so acceptable. Uh, there's, there's already been court cases in a few countries where judges have ruled in favor uh, and uh, said, while well, the girl was precocious, she understood had her sex education lessons at school. She was only 11 or 12, but so what? They're already, they're already going on that route, that, that route. And I guarantee you, uh, it won't be very long before that will, you, you won't hear of pedophilia anymore. There'll, there'll just be intergenerational love, they call it. There's even TV programs out like that. They yeah. already have a new name for pedophilia. It's called, mm-hmm. it's called the TSA. Yeah, yeah. Well, absolutely. That is part of it, too. And, uh, and even x ray and everybody as well. What you do with a prisoner, you understand, if you, and, and torture, is to, to humiliate your subject. Uh, by taking away their shoelaces, their belt, they're holding up their pants. That's how they started doing it, remember, with the TSA. That's how you first started. All, all the guys had to go through holding their pants up and, and feeling like a, a, like a prisoner. And now they're going further and X-raying you. And, of course, with a, a little flick of the filter, they, they see you in the, in the flesh, basically, naked. And we're being taught as a society to accept all of this because... And, by the way... Uh, the, the, everything is timed in this takedown system, perfectly timed, perfectly, because it, they're constantly taking polls and through the Internet and so on of how the pulse of the public. And um, we know they know we're degraded enough now, enough porno TV shows. You know, not, most TV shows and movies now have porn in it in some way or another. Lots of suggestions if they don't have that. And so we're already contaminated, as the Soviets called it, the system, by the way, because they helped introduce it. And to a certain extent, we'll accept more and more with each time, and we do. So they know they can push the next step and the next step, and they're training the public. Yeah, so what if we're watching you naked, etc., going through scanners, and your wife naked or your child naked? Uh, so what? And, uh, and you're accepting it. So we adapt very quickly. And the only time you can nip something in the bud was as in, as immediately when it's being raised to get passed, or within one month after passing. That's the only time you have to go full steam with all you've got to eradicate that law. And it's too late. After that, we adapt. Yeah, yeah we have. I mean, I've, I've, I've been wondering why people haven't really, I mean, here and there, of course, but in general, people are accepting the TSA. Yeah. And the reason why is because we have been conditioned through television, pedophilia, homosexuality. We hear it every single day. And 40, 50 years of movies getting worse and worse and worse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And, like, now on, on TV, like, homosexuality is just, like, it's just normal everyday behavior that you see when you go into Starbucks. Yep. It's acceptable. So people people have already been degraded. They don't even know it. They don't even know that they've been degraded. It's just they, they hear the word. I mean, how often did you hear the word pedophilia in the 50s or in the 60s, mm-hmm. child molestation? That's right. In fact, it was very rare to even find one because it didn't last long in the community. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, people, I mean, people, they just, you, you just couldn't get away with it. It no. wasn't even, I mean, you just, and everybody knew it. You just couldn't get away with it. There are certain cultures now, they're still like that. Mm-hmm. If they, if you're found doing something like that, you just, you, you won't get away with it either by the local community or the cops. That's right. And the local communities, too, at one time said nothing. It didn't matter if there was an investigation. Not a single person in the community would say a darn thing. Not a thing. And you guarantee on that. And there's lots of uh, deep uh, um, crevices here and there in mountainous areas where they just simply disappeared. 
and that was the end of your problem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know what I don't, I don't know where else to take it from here. But uh, thanks for taking my call, Alan. Yeah, thanks for calling. But. Yeah. So everything is the same. Even Plato said the same thing. He said, um, if you understand how cultures have been manipulated and dominated in the past, he says, if you know the formulas. You can reproduce it again. You can make the public do anything you want. And I believe that's true. I've seen it. I've witnessed it in my own lifetime. Uh, and they gave us the, 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 the uh, permissive lifestyles in the 60s, rock and roll. They tried it in the 20s. didn't work because they had the jazz. They made booze can sexy because under prohibition. And uh, they, they had miniskirts a whole lot, but they couldn't take care of the unwanted children. They didn't have the open abortion system, didn't have penicillin for venereal disease. And so they brought the same thing back in the 60s, exact same system with a, just a different kind of music meant for the young, miniskirts, rock and roll, and drugs. And then they started with abor- open abortion and the pill at the same time. They got it right that time. And by the way, that was planned. That was planned by the same boys who brought you international revolutionary parties because they talked about their own manuals. Their own manuals talked about that, that system, how they would do that. And they've done it very, very well because the destruction of the family unit was, was imperative to get it all through across the world. Family units stand together and will stand up against tyranny. Even the smallest families all come together. They'll yell out in court. It's much better to have them, nobody turning up at court, just the person themselves. And then, then the big boy with, with the wig on and, and the dress <laughs> talks down to you. And that's it. it is, this is all strategy. And uh, again, it's been perfectly documented. Uh, and it's, it's been perfectly worked out and in my lifetime. Not by what you think are, 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 are guys wearing uh, uniforms, but by suits and ties. And conservatives, liberals, Democrats, and all the other funny names they give uh, the pretense of the groups, the pretending groups are conflicting with each other, uh, because they're all they're all elected at the top. Before we see faces to elect, they're all elected at the top by the Council on Foreign Relations and the Royal Institute of International Affairs, and that's what Carol Quigley said himself. That's across the whole British Empire and the U.S. as well. And believe you me, there still is the old British Empire, the Commonwealth of Nations, they call it now. Exact, they're all identical, and the monarch, the monarch is at the head of all government, still today. And that's where all the laws and, and this stuff comes down from. But they've even made movies too. Someone told me about a Nicole Kidman movie where some, her husband dies or something, and he comes back as a, a child, and she ends up in the bath with him because he's a reincarnation of her hobby. Stuff like this, you see. And that was out within a year, two years of that, that international censorship committee where they all met together to push the envelope for the next phase. You've already seen, already seen I watched a sci-fi series someone sent me, and it was it had everything in it. Homosexuality, lesbianism, everything. Uh, but it was gradually introduced over this long-term series. Uh, first to get you, so there's only a two or three different um, systems they use to, to make a movie or a story. And they're all pretty much the same. And you always see people in trouble who bond with each other, the group, where it's cops or where it's whatever. So there's this bunch on a little spaceship like Star Trek and different creatures. You could even bring, bring bestiality into it because of some of the creatures. All the messages were in that whole series. Every single one of them was in that whole series. And people don't turn it off because they get hooked initially when they're not too bad and they're not cursing and swearing and using all the language. And once you're caught up on it, you want to know what the next series is going to, what's going to happen. Will they live? Will they survive? They're getting chased by all these strange creatures. And in, it, in between it all is the stories of, as I say, bestiality, lesbianism, homosexuality. Uh, and you could even bring in pedophilia into one of the scenes as well. So that's how you're trained without knowing it, mainly through fiction and then through school it's interesting, the guys who started up the Royal Institute of International Affairs, Dash Council on Foreign Relations, because they, they, they had a group called the Kindergarten. And these guys were the youngest members of these banking families, by the way, international money lenders. And uh, they took young recruits in, but they called it Kindergarten. And they also said that they had to start up real kindergartens to retrain each generation into the next level of the changes. 
So you must get them very young, and sure enough, you walk into any kindergarten, it's been nice for years now, there's a big picture of the globe on the wall and how global we all are and all the rest of it, and that's where you start it. That's also where you start having them go through these machines to detect metal on their bodies. That's, that's training them for the life that they will crop into. You'll notice the younger ones don't complain going through these scanners so much as the older ones because they've done their whole school life. They've gone through these metal detectors and so on. It doesn't bother them. Giving out all their data out instantly doesn't bother them because they think privacy is some kind of strange, obsolete ideal. Back with more after this break. Hi folks, we're back, cutting through the matrix. And it it just put me in mind of uh, the Frankfurt group, one of the the Marxist groups. They're still running basically the music industry today and entertainment industry, movies and etc. And lots of people in the entertainment industry are still devotees of this particular group who vowed again to, to destroy society as it existed by literally manipulating all of the culture and once again institutionalizing into the culture, uh, that means by or mandate through education, etc., all the, the terminology and the particular programs that they'd want to be pushed forward, which have been awfully successful at. You can't watch entertainment today without, if, if you can't study it as a director would study a movie and say, now what is he trying to actually really show here with every scene, then you're, you're gone, you're being programmed. You identify with the characters, and the characters do something like this or that, and then you'll say, well, you know, the character wasn't that bad, I'm kind of surprised, but I want to see how it ends. No, you're being programmed, because now you will start to modify your behavior by watching these, and that's how it goes. That's literally how it goes. Very easy to do. But the, that Frankfurt group, group, I've told you before, if you want to read uh, people who really understood how it is, and you were given full permission by the President of the United States, by the way, because they merged with the Macy Group, after World War II, give permission to change and dominate American culture, along with Bernays, and work with him too. You have to go into Theo Adorno. And Theo Adorno said, we shall know where, when we're at the end of the total destruction of the, the, the he called it, the, he hated the existing society of marriage and bonding and stuff like that. He wanted, he believed the state should be really totalitarian and rule every single individual. But he said, we shall know when we're there, when we, have, when we have necrophilia becomes the norm. Necrophilia. And then you get, they give you characters like Lady, Lady Gaga, a, a kind of third-class pole dancer, and uh, who does what she's told, well-managed, of course. Lots of PR, and I'm sure she's told everything to say, if she can talk at all, that is, uh, in the magazines. And uh, she's, she's appearing with these corpses that are going around now for art displays, you know, plasticized corpses from China. As we get dehumanized and dehumanized, it's not by chance. Nothing that happens in the culture industry is by chance. Nothing, nothing. Zilch. Zilch. It was the same even long before that, uh, when they brought in uh, the writer, the, the, the artist to give you the various Picasso type schizophrenic uh, paintings worth stacks of cash for a few scrolls, you know. Again, it was to, to, to they literally said this to destroy everything that the humanity thought was beautiful. Destroy it. And so they, they brought experts, and we all are trained to believe experts. And some guys up there telling you, oh, this, this, there's a nose down at the chin a whole bit, and it's going for millions of bucks. And how wonderful this is, and how it portrays this and that and all this rubbish. And, and people just follow it. It's like the king has no clothes. No one wants to yell. This is a piece, piece of trash. That's how it's done. We're so easily managed by the culture professionals. And then when they institutionalize it in the school, and actually give degrees for folks to, to teach this tripe, uh, you know, to, to make it more legitimate by giving a degree to it, what utter tripe is that? Huh? Art professors? Really? You are your own champion. You are the guardian of your own mind. You have a, decide, a, re, a right to decide what's right and wrong for yourself. And if something is wrong, 
Don't be cowed. Say so. From Hamish Masella from Ontario, Canada. It's good night to me, your God.